Hi everybody, this is Jacek from CosmeticGarden.com uh, I want to show you today our soap cake um, and we're going to cut it um, the problem with the cake is this is pure Castile soap uh, which is always um, softer than the regular I guess other type of hem handmade homemade soaps so this is how it turned out. I hope you can see it. I'm not sure if you can, but um, so that's what it is. It's already decorated. If you're planning to do it yourself, uh, you don't have to uh, buy this expensive silicone molds because I'll show you. I reused that old cake, um, the cake container that you know you can buy the cake in it and then. Um, you can reuse it. So that I used that as a button and that was great because I could put the top which initially was the bottom from the regular cake. And we are about 70, oops, sorry. We are about 72 hours after we created this. Again, this is pure castile soap. That, so as I said, the problem with that is that it's always softer. Um, you know, people love the castile soap for the reason that um, it's very very mild and gentle. Uh, the problem for soap makers is uh, that it's made out of olive oil only. So as I said, there's no hard oils or anything like that. And the curing time for that is so much longer. You know, with the regular handmade soap, um, it's enough to cure for about three to four weeks, um, sometimes five. With pure Castile soap, like what we make, it may take up to four months to cure the soap. Um, so yeah, it's usable after three or four weeks, but it reaches its best three really after four months. So um, it's always a challenge. Um, we have uh, the, I want to say flavor because it looks delicious, but it's actually uh, soap. So I, I'm not going to eat it and I'll tell you not to eat it too. Um, the scent that we use over here, it's tea tree and orange. Um, and this is not really a scent, it's an essential oil, which is the essence of the plants. Tea tree itself, it's a very strong uh, scent. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful oil, but it makes it, um, but it makes, um, you know, it itself, by itself, it's not really that pleasant, but mixing with other oils, it really can create a one-of-a-kind scent. And you got to think about it, it's not really a perfume that we added, uh, or lab created scents, the, these are really the essence of the plant. So I'm trying to cut it. I'm not sure. I hope it's going to work out well. I'm not sure. So if it's a failure, um, it is what it is. We'll see. Okay, I'll make sure that I have a um, paper towel here. I have two tools, one of my regular knives, which I use for my regular soap cutting, and the other is that spe special knife. Um, I don't know which one is going to be better because, as I said, it might be still very soft. And if that's the case, I don't know, um, we'll probably let it, let it still for a while. Initially, when you, when you cut any cake, you should always cut it in a half and then by quarters. And then from that, you cut the regular pieces. I'm not sure if it's going to last like that, if it's going to be like that. I, I don't know if you can see, I made that center like a little bit bigger piece here. So I know exactly where the center of that of that soap is so let's see oh let's see okay I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it like with the regular with the regular okay this is cut you see my knife is already a little bit dirty which shows that the soap is still very soft inside um, not the best thing to find out right now. I'm not, I'm not sure if I should cut the piece first and then keep going. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll try that first and see how it goes. Is that a big enough? I think so. It's going to shrink a little bit, but anyway, it's... It should be big enough. Okay. So look at this. I don't know if you can see that's that's what, that's what it is okay we have three colors here you can see that bump here and that's from the container here you see that's what it was that's exactly what it is 
I'm not worried about it and my customers don't worry about it either. Um, so let's keep cutting. Okay. Let's see if that it should be easier right now. But you know what? With soap you never know, especially with castile soap. As I said, it might be, it might not be easier. Oh, you see that's the problem here, so I need to create like a bigger piece here. Which is okay. Because it's not really a half. Oh, that's a big piece. That's a big piece, I cut it. Okay. Let's see. You know, and, and that's the beauty of the handmade products. You, not everything is perfect like in the commercial things. If, you know, you cut one thing bigger, the other one smaller, and it is what it is. Um, as long as you keep trying and I think you keep pushing to make sure that it's the right thing, I think that's what matters. And I think people appreciate what you're doing with these things. Okay, so we're almost halfway through. Okay, and that's the problem. I should have cut it first. I should have cut that cake um, in the middle. Oh, that's a huge piece too. Hmm. Anyway, as I said, this soap will be... Uh, we'll be selling this in about three to four months when it's completely cured and we're going to package this nicely. And... Um, and um, it will be available. Now, keep in mind, we the cold process soap we make, we make only Castile soap. We don't make any other type of soap. Um, I guess I'll be cutting and talking. Um, but what we, what we put them is we don't list them on our website, uh, which, as you know, is cosmeticgarden.com. But what we do, we put them in our store on Etsy. Uh, simply because we can't keep up with the demand, okay? So, and because it takes so much time for the curing process, you know, we just can't um, produce enough and to list it on our website. However, if you go to our website and you go to specials, we have the special section there, um, you can actually go and, um, and from there you might be redirected to Etsy store where we list our stuff. Uh, and these are the stuff that I said, these are the castle soap mostly um, that we have over there. Uh, let me see. I don't know if I should cut three or two out of this. Hmm. Well, let me see. I think I'm gonna cut three because I cut it the other one just too big, but you know what, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. It's going to shrink a little bit anyway, throughout the curing time. But I think it turned out to be pretty, pretty nice. Okay, let me see. Let me show you. Oops, sorry. So this is exactly how it looks. I don't use any glitters or anything like that. I mean, I think it's pretty enough how it is. Uh, we don't have to. Um, I know some soap makers who are making um, soap cakes are using glitters and anything like that. I don't. Um, this is the purest version of the natural soap you can get because Castile soap is the purest, the purest soap available on the market. It's the most expensive because, again, it's made out of olive oil only. And now some people may argue with me because there are two definitions of Castile soap. The first one uh, is that any soap which is made out of, um, out of vegetable oils with no, fa no animal fats is Castile soap. And the other thing is that only soap made out of pure olive oil, which we use extra virgin olive oil, is the purest version of Castile soap. Whichever definition you choose to believe, um, we make the purest version, which is the only olive oil soap. So that's what it is. Three different colors in it. Um, actually, four. This is this is uh, we didn't add any colorants. The colors that we add are also natural. Um, so if you're interested in seeing our products, some of them, uh, again, 
uh, visit us at www.cosmeticgarden.com not, not every product is listed over there but again if you go on specials you will you might be redirected to Etsy our store on Etsy and you will see some of our castle soap over there again we have so much that we need to add um, so we will see that later I think it turned out pretty big pretty nice okay see you guys next time